think he notices us. It's working. Oh, we've been spotted. Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Dallas. We're here on the Minecraft Pocket Edition world. Episode 93. Oh man, climbing up them episodes of course. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome back. Uh, as you can see behind me here, we're actually getting the house nice and dandy going here. Um, I've actually been working on a few things here and there. Of course, that's what you normally do, isn't it? <laughs> um, actually, I'm trying to take this tree down because normally I usually like to start off my video up there sometimes, but now these trees are blocking the way. Oh well. <laughs> um, but yeah, today we're working on... Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, I took my boots off so I can greet you guys. And I'm so used to jumping off of high things. Ah, uh, <laughs> that was not a good start. Anyway, as I was trying to say, welcome back. We got a few projects to work on today. Um, I kind of have a to-do list again. You know what? When they finally come out with like a... Like, what is it? Book and Quills. I'm actually just going to start off each episode with like a to-do list on the inside of that. Because that... It's a good way to keep track of things, I guess, because if you want to get something done in an episode, I guess that's a proper way to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, look how tall it is now. <laughs> I've been working on that. I went out to the Mesa Baum, got me lots of clay. Um, I've just been slowly waiting for um, this to give me my <laughs> uh, my cactus. Hopefully 0.14.0 comes out fast, so I can just put a hopper there and it'll collect it. But yeah, today I want to add the bridge to there to that. Um, there's a few other things I want to do, such as getting the new egg farm going, because I think there's a solution to fix our little problem, um, and it's pretty basic, of course. Um, a few other things I want to work on is uh, actually preparing for some of our redstone builds. Uh, what I mean by that is we're actually going to create the redstone build, but without the redstone. So <laughs> it, it'll be a little interesting concept. And um, also, I want to work on some lighting. Um, Man, my game is very laggy today. Um, lighting such as I want to have some automatic lighting. I might tell by the title of the episode. I want to, as you can see, our place is littered with torches. And it's not the prettiest thing. So I want to start getting, I have this kind of lamp design I came up with in a creative mode. Um, so I'm going to kind of set them up around and show you guys how to make it. It's pretty basic. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with all this stuff. Okay, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my god. But as you can see here, I'll explain it in a second. This is my little design I made. Um, I kind of like it because it has stone mixed in with it with that. So it looks good with buildings like this. And it'll also look good with buildings with wood. But as you can see, there's a daylight sensor on top of it. Um, let me see something here. Yeah. Now you're working. I don't get this. It was raining. Oh, so now, now that I'm recording... You're going to act all like you didn't... <sighs> okay, there must be a bug then. Because when it was raining, I would flip... Okay, it would be on like this, but when you would turn it off, it wouldn't shut off the power here. It would just make the uh, the signal weaker. And it would the signal would only go five blocks. Try it for yourself. When it's raining, put a daylight sensor, and then when you flick it off, it'll just cut the power supply down to five blocks. It's so weird. <laughs> so basically... My automatic lamps are not going to work when it's raining, which is kind of bull crap. <laughs> um, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to be working... Well, not working on. I'm just going to do these all around my house. Um, same as this over here. Now, I've also noticed something else I want to explain. Um, I was playing this game yesterday, just building on our house and whatnot. And my game crashed and it automatically updated, which it shouldn't have done because I have automatic updates off which was weird and um ever i did not want to update to 0.13.2 because all i've noticed was bugs and it this was supposed to fix bugs as you can see my game has gotten an increasing amount of more lag like i can barely record now without lag i'm on lowest render <laughs> render settings um and it's just still awful i don't understand it um I had to steal some of the lanterns in here. Another bug is detector rails don't work anymore because when I hit this, um, it should go up to the mesa, but when I come, when you leave, it's supposed to obviously reset, but detector rails don't work anymore. I don't know. Oh, I'm, 
I'm really mad. I really didn't want to update because all I heard was just bad things. Look how laggy it is. It's awful. Uh, guys, uh, I think <laughs> next episode we might have to take take off the shaders because I know that's probably not helping at all. But um, yeah, that's a sad part. I don't know. 13.2 is just terrible. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go around and play some more of my lanterns. I just want to do them in some nice areas such as like right here. Oh Man, I can barely play this game. This is awful. Please guys. I don't know how bad it is on video But you're just gonna have to bear with me in this episode um, I might actually take off the shaders right after this little bit of recording just to test it out um, We haven't been on our world in a bit without shaders. It's been like five six episodes oh. Click that. Uh oh uh-oh, wait, can I not click it? Uh, hang on, what's going on here? You have to click the top? What's going on? What? I don't get it. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking I don't know. Like, is it because something's above it? I'm not sure. But it shouldn't be powered if something's... Okay, I'm just not going to mess with that stuff right now. I'll go ahead and create them, but they're just going to have to be buggy for now. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go take off my shaders real quick and see if that fixes it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our world looks so dead now. <laughs> I had to take them off, guys. I'm sorry. I kept the moon and the sun, though. But, uh, our world, I mean, I got so, like, used to the shaders. Our world just seems so bland now. Like, oh my gosh. But I will admit, our <laughs> our performance has increased by a whole lot. Um, I think maybe uh, the shaders had to do with it because look how smooth it is now. It's like buttery smooth. Well, at least for me it is. I don't know how it come out on recording. But um, I think maybe since I updated, those shaders weren't... Maybe they changed something and the shaders weren't used to that update and it kind of just bugged it out. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing on this for now on until maybe some better shaders come out. I'll probably wait for some 0.14.0 shaders. I'm sure you guys don't care because this is how it normally is and <laughs> I kind of like it. It's like the good old days. But um, I've already wasted enough time talking about bugs. Let's go ahead and move on to some building. Um, I think I want to go ahead and try to build this bridge next. As you guys know, I want to try to do it just like that one. I think those are like six wide, so um, I gotta go up there and kind of mess with it a bit, and then I'll show you guys afterwards. So let's get this done real quick. Alrighty, getting these last bit of blocks in here. Um, kind of doing the same design I did over there. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Um, that'll work for now at least. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I yeah because I'm gonna place these with glass, and then I'll plank the top of this um let's go down here and look oh jesus yeah yeah kind of like that. i had to make this part a little bit longer because i went by two each time i went by plank then a slab then plank then slab it's kind of different of course um it's kind of like that one but that one only has one that goes up so um under here i think i'm going to go place slabs under there and then i think i want to do Something like way over there, if you guys remember my little archway out of fences. Um, I think I want to try to do some kind of cool looking fence support beam under here. Like make it look like a bunch of fences are holding it up. Because like that it looks cool, but I want, I like the looks of like support in this. Um, if you noticed in the last clip there, um, these glowstone lamps were on during daytime. So that proves that they are messed up for some reason. Unless there's something I don't know about glow or uh what is it these things daylight sensors i know a lot about redstone but i haven't messed with these a whole lot unless there's something i don't know i'm doing wrong but i think they're bugged um but yeah that's gonna be that i'm gonna finish it up and see what else we can do with it all right i just thought of something really cool i'll talk to you guys in a second about it but i'm working on this down here and i think it's turning out just great just let me widen out this path a bit here um uh, there we go as you can see i'm kind of making a large intersection here i don't know i'm gonna have to work with this a bit yeah a lot of work to do but um i just itched my nose sorry <laughs> um I'm, i kind of made this little thing i extended my wooden path this way you know what this wooden path is so old i made this such a long time ago and like i put these slabs right here and it was like one of the first things I'd done on this world when I built this main part of the house. And I don't know why, but it 
it's just been here forever and it looks really nice in my opinion i don't know what it reminds me of maybe kind of like a like a dock or something because this kind of looks like it would be part of like an ocean or something but it's just a river i don't know i kind of like it so i extended it under the house um, i'm gonna put another one right here so i'll get rid of this i kind of like my oak fence archways I, i'm really digging them <laughs> uh kind of like this it's pretty basic i have a lot of these in my world oh wait maybe i can put another slab there no i don't like that <laughs> that looks kind of weird what about just i'll have to do something with that i don't know but what i was talking about is just think of this look i was just look, walking around thinking about something and imagine this you ready <laughs> since we don't have a roof on our house um if you if you notice i always slab them off which is not the prettiest thing but i was looking at this this upside down cone and i love i used to love making medieval builds with these pointy roofs but these are obviously upside down imagine a roof like that like a really pointy roof that has a very nice slopes on the side hello and um imagine that up on top of these houses like do you know how amazing that would look like right there imagine that like a, that cone but like up there on each side it'll be kind of a squarish type of like triangle that has like curves on the sides it says flat sides do you know how amazing that would make our house look i'm going to do it all over um maybe in some areas i kind of want to lift that part of the house up a bit more um well that moon is so cool looking <laughs> um but yeah just uh, let me do know what you guys think about down in the comments about that. Like, we don't have... It would, I think it would add so much to our house, actually, now that I think of it. Um, <laughs> uh, that, that's for a future thing, though. Maybe next episode. It'll also look good on Survival Lab, maybe. Um, but that's as far as I'm working on this today. Um, I kind of like just working on it here and there, of course. Um, but I, I kind of wanted to do the chicken farm thing, like I said in the beginning of the episode. I'm going to go work on that a bit and uh, see what I can come up with. Because I got a feeling... When I say chicken farm too, I mean egg farm. It's just chickens in it. Whoa, they're actually working. These things are so buggy. There was like one was on, one wasn't. They're all on uh, night mode too, so it's not my fault. Yeah, this thing right here, as you guys know, last episode, we're messing around with this. Um, I think I have a solution. I'm going to mess with it a bit, and of course I'll update you guys. So uh, let me get to work. But before I do any of that, let's go ahead and do the question of the day. Um, the next question comes from the user by the name of Brick Studios, and he asks, what is your favorite movie? Um, I just now realized, <laughs> Brick Studios, Brick War Films, do you have two accounts? Is that how you get your questions? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, my favorite movie, uh, I actually have several favorite movies, but I don't have a certain favorite one. If I would, oh, if I would just say I had... A certain favorite few it would probably be Django Unchained that was that was probably one of my favorite movies ever um Shutter Island that's another one and uh probably uh I don't know maybe the new Star Wars <laughs> I really loved episode seven that was a really good one and I also like uh Will Smith movies as well I like I Am Legend or something like that those those are kind of cool not his silly ones though kind of like uh <laughs> what's that one called i can't even remember the name of it because i thought it was silly uh the one where he's like he has a superpower crap what was that called i don't know you guys probably know what i'm talking about <laughs> but um anyway thanks for your question if you guys want yours answered just type qotd and then your question then i'll most likely answer who knows um so i was thinking about this and um turns out there's not an easy way to fix the egg farm um if I was to fix it, it would have to be a completely redesign. Um, I was trying to think of a way to fix this with this still being here in the same design. Um, I was thinking of just filling the whole thing up with water, all the way flooding down to the bottom, and then the chickens can just drop their eggs. But I'm trying to think of a design for them for their eggs to flow this way, which there isn't really much to work with when you don't have redstone. So... Again, I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> um, and also, I'm, I was thinking about, as I said, going ahead and start making our redstone kind of like preparing for the redstone as in making the outer shells of stuff, but not putting the redstone in it. But I'm actually planning on making a giant factory on here with all of 
really cool cookers and farm automatic farms on the inside so um actually i'm going to put those on a hold and actually wait for redstone to come out before we can do that um but yeah for the rest of the episode um i'll decide something to do um I, we've got plenty to do trust me when i say that um so i'll i'll figure out something um so i'll be back with you guys in just a second so I've been working on the roof design for my house, and I've spent some good time on this now. Um, I'm just trying to create that perfect flow, if you know what I mean, and here it is so far. Oh man, I'm in love with it. Look at it. It turned out perfect. I spent perfect time on it trying to think of which blocks should go where. As you can see, it has that kind of really like strict turn right here and it goes straight up to a nice loop kind of like a witch's hat or something <laughs> let me guys tell me what you guys think down below about this because i think it turned out perfect um now as you can tell i kind of have that kind of familiar base like my house under there and this is what i think i want to try to put on it i tried to imagine what it would look like looking up to this it looks all right i got a feeling i should make it bigger but i'm going to go with this for now now i've already started a little bit of it in my survival world so I'm going to go finish it over there, and then we're going to see the final product. I hope it turns out good, so <laughs> let's go work on it. Okay, so I finished it. I think it turned out decent. Um, would you look at this, though, before we take a look at it? Look how low my render distance is, and guess what? Guess what? Let me click here. It's on the highest render distance. <laughs> that goes to show how bad rain is in this game they have to decrease the render distance by that much to keep it from lagging i don't even want rain if it does that <laughs> but uh, i could barely see my house that's why i did it but look that's kind of how it turned out um i think it's all right but i'm gonna have to do some like well when it fits it, i think it definitely fits this style of it um it might be a little bit jumpy here and there because i have full render distance on but um I think it turned out decent. The only problem I don't like about it is when you're way down low. Of course, it's a tall building, so when you're way down low, you don't see much of it, as you can see. Um, it's kind of weird. That's why I think I'm going to have to mess with the design a bit to make it a little bit taller. That's what I think I'm going to do. Um, maybe that design will work on a building that's maybe that tall and don't have this two extra floors on it. But um, I actually think this is going to be great for it. Um, I need to... I, I kind of puffed out the sides a bit there with slabs, so I'm, I'm going to take those out a bit. Whoa! That was sudden. Okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and turn that down now that I can. But yeah, tell you guys what you think about it. I think we are going to do it on top of maybe that. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to limit it to like actual buildings that have decent roofs on the top, if you know what I mean. Kind of like actual roofs i can do it on um such as this one over here i think i might do it to that one we'll do it to the top of that um maybe the survival lab i don't know maybe up there i think i want to bring that floor up one more um but yeah that's basically gonna be that we got a lot more work to do on here um of course now for the last bit of you that are still watching the video i want to say thank you for actually watching the whole video <laughs> because i'm still getting tons of comments asking about download day <laughs> and literally it feels like i i mention it every episode now and i guess for those people that don't watch till now we'll never know <laughs> but yeah download day is on episode 100 for some of you that keep asking um and that's basically that now i will might i might be absent with videos in the next few days for some of you guys that might wonder it's because i've been really getting worked a lot <laughs> at work that made sense i'm just they've been working me so much and uh i could barely keep my eyes open right now but i still want to produce content because you're not going to get anywhere if you don't do stuff you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know that was a bland way to put it i know i'm tired that's it um but yeah guys that's going to be it for today again tell me guys what you think about the roof design um i even added a staircase to the library finally it's a nice little staircase. I like it. We need another way into it. So, yeah, that's that. Again, thank you for watching, guys. And I think that turned out perfect. I can't stop looking at it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, um, I was going to say something else, but I forgot. Oh, well. <laughs> see you guys later. And bye-bye.